Sucker made me lose my frog. <clears throat> frog came off pretty quick. Well, there you go, guys. First, wow, man. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid GoPro that turns over. Either way, first one of the day. Caught them on the frog. They're in here, up shallow, kind of busting. Stanley Top Toe. You know, that's always been one of my go tos. Again, first one of the day, just move spots. Popping off on the top of the water, switch to the frog in close proximity to where he kind of blew up and schwackity schwackity. <laughs> I'm saying that for a friend of mine. He actually had a guy, I think, on his boat when he said the hook go schwackity schwackity. Anyway, guys out here on the Potomac right now in Chickamuxin. You know, get back out here, keep throwing. Got to re reload the old frog on there because he knocked that off pretty quick. Didn't get the cool hook set, man. Look good. Look. Oh. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. Let's get back to it. Oh, there it is. I found my frog. Bam. Real quick look at that uh, combo. That's the uh, Super Grip combo. Blues Hyper Mag. That's the uh, Stanley Top Toad color I'm throwing right there. Something about that bright green bottom sometimes. Get some. got shad busting up in here too so could be there could be these are fry garters because we should be coming out of the spawn should be we are coming out of the spawn which makes sense that a actually a, a bluegill representation might be something I switch over to as well Number three. You got both them hooks. What, you want to slap in the face? Slap in the face. Ah, slap in the face. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Number three. Just kind of just trying to read the water, you know what I mean? Sorry that the sun's probably in your face, but you gotta love it when they're biting. This is actually uh, outgoing tide right now, too. I got a tournament next week. It's gonna be the opposite. But we're gonna get out here and have fun no matter what we do. Because that's what life's all about. Liberty. Pursuit of liberty. Gotta love that post post bite braid grab. Way to guys, they are in here spanking the frog. Good, good day when it's bites on the frog. It's the fourth one I've uh, caught up in here. No, I'm not worried about sore mouthing them for my event by the end of next next week. Because hey, you, you probably go to the scales. Nice, nice. Found ourselves a good little bite up in here. Shake a muxin. I actually like this series of rods that uh, Blues has super grip right here. This is the frog rod. It's the pitch and stick and frog rod. It is a 7.4 heavy fast action. And paired with this guy, 
hyper mag makes it really good and you would think that you know a grip like this thing would add a lot of weight to the to the blank but it really doesn't it's a very strong sturdy kind of do everything uh it's like oh yeah big old carp just busting busting over there that's what that is but really good good series of rod you know check them out custom plus speed stick super grip highly recommend it Frog today, don't they? My brother. He's all tangled up, but that's number five, guys. On the frog. Continuing the frog. And they are getting, look at that, good lord. That's why I like to, I mean, I like to roll heavy rods, but it's just me. Let's just clean this boat. My goodness. <laughs> what a hook. Probably gone. Oh, this guy was never getting off. All right, man. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> All right. I let him back in there. Man, they were smoking the frog today. Try dragging a, uh, you know, kind of popping a worm through there, one eighth ounce weight, and I was just like, ah, oh, I gotta, you know, gotta keep covering ground. That's the thing with practice, you know, it's never just sit there fish and keep catching fish or anything. You gotta just keep moving, keep trying to find, find the right fish, and uh, that was definitely not the right fish, but it was a fish. It took a long time, but uh, well, I got another one with good size on it. Yeah. Flipping the uh, destroyer on a three ounce weight. Definitely be looking for some more of these. I mean, this is just an expansive, expansive grass flat down in Aquia. And it's one of those things I just told myself I gotta set down. I don't see real shad busting anywhere or fry busting, but sure enough, that was a good quality fish in here. And I had to soak the lure a little bit still too. That was a good fish. Took a long time though. But that's practice. Guys, the destroyer. I love this bait absolutely love this bait i mean to me it's exactly on par with the d-bomb i mean it's just a bigger d-bomb but it absolutely florida to here i've i've been putting it to work i love it Ain't gonna lie, that's pretty cool. There it is right there, guys. 
the old uh, missile baits. <clears throat> just finesse is just one of those things I like to do in these highly pressured areas. Give you a look at this rig. Missile base quiver, man. Love this color. Quick reaction caught that one, man. Had I not uh, saw that once, actually a smaller one chase after it dropped it right back down. point is that even amongst all this grass it don't really matter to the fish if your popper gets grass that's time on the water guys time on the water I had a follower follower didn't take it it was a big follower <laughs> and uh, popper this time of the year I was a little worried about the grass, but I can kind of rip this out of the grass still. So, might be a booyah, might be a strike king, not real sure. But either way, kind of case in point, you know, you get out here, you keep experimenting with different things. Normally, I probably would have thought like, oh man, I'm just gonna foul it up or something like that. And sure enough, that was not the case. Man, walking it. That's a good one. guys that is the size we are looking for <laughs> out here today I mean this is uh, middle of the day too just so you know I think once it started walking really got on it right there good size Woo, a couple of those we might have a chance of those and I am still throwing this on never cleaned never anything the first generation mock crush and it still it still launches these things up this is a fantastic combo it's, I, I solely use this combo for top water you know I, I'll, I'll post all the links down in the description but just the white I think this is a booyah so tackle wear out links down in the description once it started walking though that's when he wanted it. Lightest of bites, man. I just saw the subtlest of moves with the. Well, I guess I know where I'll probably be at this next. <laughs> help me out, babe. Help me. Get it. Help me. Get it off my line. So, good one right there. Help 
Help me, dude. Help me. Help me. Another one on the old uh, destroyer. You were making a mess. Look, look at this mess. I love setting the hook in some deep stuff, man. That is my absolute favorite. So, I mean, we found a good concentration here. I mean, these are well known, well, very well known uh, community holes. So, fish are still here. Fish are still they're biting. They're probably going to get, hopefully, get better by this next week, too. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Basically, at the mouth of a quad, I caught one. Got a good one. So, June, just got grass coming up. Got a, had, what we have? I say it incoming, I keep forgetting what the tide's doing today. I'm just like, ah, indifferent of, of it <laughs> these days. Just kind of fish what's in front of me and just keep going. But uh, good day, good day out here. If, uh, if this kind of matches up for the tournament, you know, same kind of conditions, could be all right. Could be all right. We'll see, might get out the Friday before, don't know. But, you know, definitely getting into producing more content again, guys. Got basically everything in my life kind of ironed out again. Uh, you know, went through a rough patch, but didn't back up and didn't back down. And we're still still at it, still fighting and, uh, you know, having, having a good time. I mean, I really lost my ability to, to, to have a good time on the boat. And, um, I mean, I'd just be out here and I'd just be just spitting mad, just angry and in, inside and, and it took me a while to to combat that but you know i have and if you're going through something like that just just keep fighting it don't back up don't back down uh, so guys thanks for watching as always please like comment share subscribe y'all have a good one